I'm coming to you live from the backyard of Chris Johnson with breaking news. There will be a mid second midterm examination for Chris Johnson's history students next week uh, to be turned in on April the 15th and 16th. Listen, I've had some questions and issues about how this thing's gonna, supposed to go, and so I'm just going to try to give you this little instruction video and hope that'll explain it to you as best as we possibly can. Hey, sunshine after days of rain, you had to come out here and a little change of venue. So uh, when you go to Canvas and you go to the assignments, you're going to see on the very top of the assignments list the second midterm examination. And uh, I assume that you guys look in there and you get to actually see the exam posted. And it's going to look just like this. This is the History 101 exam. And it's one of the, it's actually going to be two, two, two different History 101 exams. And I can't separate papers. I've never known to separate papers. And this is the History 102 exam. Um, and they, of course, have instructions on the top of them exactly how to proceed. The test is exactly like you did it before, except, of course, you're doing it at home and you're able to do it. You, you make it all one big package, all right? Um, I want you to do the identification portions. Of course, you're going to do eight, five out of the eight that are placed onto the list. You're going to do, of course, the essay question that I've, I've requested that you do. My hope is, of course, that you have gone through the appropriate videos. So for History 102, that means you should have covered everything about the Progressive Era and everything about the rise to world power. For History 101, that means you should have covered everything about becoming Americans, breaking with Great Britain, and war and revolution. Those are the three areas that you have, the three contexts, of course, that are associated with those, those particular identifications. You know, um, you also have, of course, the class notes that I provided for you. Understand that those are true class notes. Those were done by a student of mine who tape recorded me, went home, and then tried to transcribe as best he can. They're not absolutely perfect, of course, but they give you at least the foundation of good information that you can use as far. But, you know, I'm hoping that a mixture of you listening to me, maybe hopefully taking some notes while I was talking to you on the, on the videos, and you uh, using the class notes will give you a chance to... You do, there's, there's no way in the world that you can't do well on this exam. You just have to put in the time to make sure you've covered the material through the videos and look at the class. And you're welcome to use your textbook. You're welcome to use anything you want. Okay. And of course, you know, my primary the grading will be based primarily upon you know how, how much you're willing to do that. You know, did you put in the time to see the videos? Did you put in the time to make, take a look at the class notes? So, you, know, you don't have to do that if you don't want to. If you feel like you were strong out of the video, that's going to be just fine too. Okay. Put in the time to make you know create some good responses for this. My assumption is that you will then, you know, type out your five identifications, the ones that you want, you, you feel that you're going to be the strongest on the course, and this time there's no good reason to do more than five, okay, so just do five and don't do any more than that, all right? Um, remember that, of course, you know, although the essay comes from one topic area, the identifications are always going to come from the other topical area, so that's kind of assuming that you're, you're again, doing the span, of course, of all, all the videos. Um, I'm assuming that you will type them. If typing them is problematic, of course, then for you individually, you're welcome to write it all out, you know, scan it, take a photograph of it, send it to someone, make sure you just get it to me. I am asking you to post your exams through Canvas. It allows for me a greater management of them, and also I can do the comments and type comments on the side and send it right back to you, of course, you know, when I'm, when I'm done with the grading part of the whole thing. But anyway, you know, um, you know Please adhere to just those simple rules, you know, use the assignments component, submit online as, as, as a copy or, you know, whatever, however you want to put it on so I can, I can do my evaluations and grading. I am going to hold um, the um, Zoom meetings on Monday and Tuesday in the particular time, uh, time periods for each individual class. Uh, so that if, you know, you need a little more information about it, then I can hopefully help you right there. But you know, it's pretty much the same old, same old, just, you know, do five identifications. Do an essay, you know, find it, you know, hopefully you'll be able to find all the information you need, of course, you know, through, um, through the videos and through the uh, class notes that are available to you, and, you know, just do the best you can, of course, and just because of the nature of things, I have to be as sympathetic as possible to all my students, and I, and I will be that, and I'm, I'm just hoping that you're willing to do this, you know, put this together for me, get it into me, and, uh, you know, and so we can move on, and move on our way towards finishing, and you having a successful experience in History 101 and 102. Anyway, um, so much for breaking news and back to the studio.